show, the Bojo Show, is on the air. Growing up in northern Indiana, not far from the bright lights of Chicago, the Bozo Show was must-watch television. The show featured Cookie, Cuddly Dudley, the famous grand prize game, and, of course, Bozo, the world's most famous clown. Hi, I'm movie man Eric Houston. The Bozo Show was a cultural touchstone for both me and my parents, who grew up watching Chicago's original Bozo, Bob Bell. In 1984, Joey Doria took over the role and would keep it until 2001. Joey would be my bozo, and I was even lucky enough to be able to see the show in person, despite the 10-year wait for tickets. So many things made bozos special, but there was one annual tradition that I can guarantee you still brings a tear to the eye of even the most hardened Chicagoans. I'm Hard Rock. I'm Coco. I'm Joe. That's Hard Rock, Coco, and Joe, one of a trio of unique Christmas cartoons that Bozo would play every year that also included Frosty the Snowman and Susie Snowflake. The histories of these three cartoons are somewhat murky, but we do know a few things. One is that the unifying thread between these three seemingly disparate cartoons is Hill and Range Songs Incorporated. Hill and Range was a music publishing company, and they commissioned each of these three cartoons to help sell sheet music for new songs. Frosty was actually the first and was released in 1950, the same year the song was written. It's the only one of the cartoons made by animation studio UPA, who would later make the Mr. Magoo cartoons. They also made a Peter Cottontail cartoon for Hill and Range. Look at Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Snippity hopping on his merry way Peter Cotton, Cottontail he Frosty features charming and stylistic, if limited, hand-drawn cartooning, alongside a jazzy a cappella version of the now famous song. Hey, look at Frosty go! Whee! Hard Rock, Coco and Joe, and Susie Snowflake were made the following year by Centaur Productions, which had been founded by Hua Ming Chang. A Chinese-American sculptor and special effects legend, Hua Ming Chang grew up in Hawaii and would later create props for George Pal's classic the Time Machine. He is probably best known for his contributions to Star Trek, where he created the Gorn, Tribbles, the Romulan Bird of Prey, Tricorders, and Communicators. Earth Enterprise. Starting here, sir. We're beaming up. Chang reportedly carved the puppets for these cartoons himself, which may be why Santa has Asian features. We'll get back to those lovable dwarves in a moment, but first, let's talk about Susie Snowflake. That song was written by the team of Sid Tepper and Roy Bennett, who wrote dozens of songs, including 45 songs, for Elvis Presley alone. Susie Snowflake was a hit for Rosemary Clooney. Here comes Susie Snowflake, soon you will hear her say, Come out everyone and play with me, I haven't long to stay. It was sung in the cartoon by Norma Zimmer, who you might remember as Lawrence Welk's Champagne Lady. She was accompanied by the Norman Luboff Choir, a backing group that worked with Bing Crosby, Harry Belafonte, and Frank Sinatra. Now, as much as I like those other two cartoons, Hard Rock, Coco, and Joe is definitely my favorite, possibly because it's the strangest featuring these exaggerated puppets, and possibly just because of the hubris of trying to introduce three new characters to the Christmas mythos. Old Santa will come in and set down his pack, and Hard Rock will hold the reindeer till Santa comes back. If you hear a giggle as he turns to go, it's Coco, a snowball, and Joe. The cartoon is about three little men, only two feet high, who help Santa with his deliveries. Hard Rock steers the sled, 
Coco reads the map, and Joe, well, Joe doesn't do much of anything. Though old Santa really has no need for Joe, but takes him cause he loves him so. The song and cartoon are actually called The Three Little Dwarfs, and it was written by former radio singing cowboy Stuart Hamblin, who is probably best known for the Rosemary Clooney hit, This Old House. He also ran for president in 1952 as the candidate for the Prohibition Party. Hamblin recorded the original version of the song himself. That hard rock and Coco and Joe. Now listen, my children, and you shall hear a story fantastic, a story so queer. It's all about Santa and his helpers three. There's hard rock and Coco and Joe. And it was also later recorded by another singing cowboy, Gene Autry. Hard Rock's the driver up there by his sleigh. Coco reads maps and he shows him the way. Though old Santa really has no need for Joe, but takes him cause he loves him so. It's unclear who exactly sang the song on the cartoon, though. We do know that Fraser Thomas later hired the Les Tucker singers to re-record the song for an album sold at Walgreens stores. Thomas even had the singers imitate the cartoon as closely as possible, so it would sound like the real deal. Speaking of Thomas, the three cartoons made their Chicago debut on Fraser Thomas's Garfield Goose and Friends on December the 18th, 1956, where they aired annually until moving to the Bozo Show in 1976. Each year, my family and thousands of others watched Bozo obsessively, waiting for the annual glimpse of these strange little cartoons. Bozo left the air in 2001, and the cartoons have since moved to being shown on WGN's local news, where every year they get dozens of phone calls asking when the cartoons will be on. And, you know, speaking of which, I, sh I should probably find out. Bring joy to every girl and boy.